M0 FXB. Right, we're just going to look at a Bofung, close-up look at these Bofungs. This one's a UV9, but it's very similar to the UV5R ETC. So the obvious thing is, on the side, push that one, that turns on your torch, makes it flash. PTT, and then we've got the one that turns on the broadcast radio. I'm doing this for just and if you hold it down, I think you get an alarm. There you go. So we know that. And then on this side, you've got the connector for the USB cable, which is used for firmware and for things like chirp. At the top, uh, the torch, the antenna, and then the on-off volume. And Right, so that's that. And then at the back, you've got the battery and the belt clip. And, the, and although these are cheap, they actually... I think they're quite hard. They're quite sturdy. And I've got one here that I've had for six, seven years, and it's, it's still the same. Right, so now the, let's just quickly look at the front button. So you've got the, obviously, the, the number buttons, which do work. So I can put in the frequency, and that does work. You've got a band one here. Now, this is a triple band, but look, you've got two meters, 70 centimeters, and I think on the B band I can get, I don't know if I'll select it, but it does do 220 megahertz, this one. Now, this radio is about 25 pound to buy. Uh, then you've got VFO here channel and channel mode. Now VFO, that's obvious, but the channel mode is basically memory mode. And then you've got your AB button where you can select from A and B, yeah, top and bottom. And to make it twin dual receive, you go menu seven and turn the TDR on. Now anything you select on this radio, you have to do it this way. So we've gone to menu seven, it's on at the moment. Now we want to change it, we have to hit we have to go menu seven we have to hit menu first then we use the up and down arrows to change the selection and then to save it we have to hit menu again and the radio will say confirmed now let's go through these menus so let's go menu and so exit you can exit out of everything by hitting the exit button here now let's go menu right and uh, let's go to number one so menu number one is uh your step your step frequency so you know for example you could go 2.5 um, 5 kilohertz 2 point you know you can see that it's the spacing between the channels let's exit that so menu right number two let's get it stay number two that's an obvious one you can change the power <clears throat> number three is is for is for battery saving so that prolongs the you know the length the length of your of your battery menu four number four so tdr a or b now i'm guessing that you on that one you can decide which is the which is the the band that's going to be priority when it is twin receive so you can decide if it's going to be the a the a or the b the top or the bottom menu, menu let's go menu four now ste i'm not really sure what that is i'm just looking in a manual here to see if i can see what ste is um i'm just looking ste right okay so menu menu four so exit menu four no we've lost it now well we know what vox is yeah, so STE is squelch tail elimination. Eliminates the squelch tail at the end of the transmission. Only works when other radios turn on their tail function. So anyway, we know what that is. So menu five. So wide and narrow, we know that. So it changes it from, if we go um, menu, menu, sorry. There you go, wide and narrow. So I would say it's between 12.5 and 25 kilohertz. So menu six. Menu six. ABR. Now what's ABR? That's another one that I don't actually know what that is. So we're going to look in the manual here. See if I can see ABR listed. Right, here it is. Display illumination time. So that's what that is. Decides how long the display is going to stay on. Now, it will never stay on 
more than 10 seconds, as far as I can see. Menu seven, that's twin receive. Menu eight, ABR, we've done that. Menu, let's go exit. Menu nine, timeout. Yeah, you can change that, so it, the timeout, we all know what timeout is. Uh, exit, menu 10. So menu 10 is, is uh, receive, DCS, that's like a, almost like a, uh, like CTCSS, but different. So let's go for menu. So there you are, CTCSS. T transmit DCS, we know what that is. Then we've got CTCS, transmit. Voice, yeah, we've, we've chosen that it's English. Uh, that's the radio ID. DTMF and Annie. I, I've looked this up before, DTMF and Annie. So I think when you go into the DTF menu, especially on um, on on Chirp, this setting means something. So here it is on menu 16, I've got it on the manual. Determines the DTMF codes are heard through the speaker. So off, no tones. DTF, DTST only manual keyed DTMF codes are heard. Only uh, any ST only automatically key DTMF codes are heard, and then DT and any all DTMF co codes are heard. Which I think that's probably the one you'd want to use. So menu, menu. Let's keep going. S code. What's that? Signal code. PTT ID. Um, code. PTID DTMF code selection, select one of the 15 DTMF codes set with software and are up to five digits each, enabled by using menu 19. Hmm, that's interesting. Anyway, so, menu. menu, let's go up. SC Rev. Now that's scan resume method. So, two, time operated, scan stops when the signal detected Scan resumes after approximately five seconds, even if the channel is still active. Co and then you can select co-carrier operation. Scan stops when signal detected. Scan resumes when signal disappears. SE is search operation. Scan stops when the signal detected. Uh, scanning will not resume. So that's what that is. Menu. Let's go up to the next one. PTTID when to send the PTT ID signal code. So never use that, so that's what that is. PTT LT signal code sender, again, something I've never used. MDF A name, channel mode A display, upper display. Oh yeah, so you're basically deciding what is displayed on the, you can display the program frequency, the channel number, or the channel name. Um, and then same goes, you've got one there for B-band. BCL off, what's that? BCL, never use BCL. Busy channel lockout, prevents transmitting on a busy frequency. If another repeater or signal is present using a different CTCSS or DCS code, your transmit will be locked out to prevent interference. When PTT is keyed, radio will sound a beep tone through the speaker only. Okay, there you go. Auto alt, automatic key lock. When on, keypad will be locked if not used within eight seconds. Uh, menu. menu. Shift, as we know that, that's just, just like for a repeater shift direction. So you've got off and then plus or minus shift. Offset, yeah, so like on a two meter, it will be 600. On a, say, 70 centimeter, it'll be 7.600 shift. Memory channels, so that's just how you, you know, choosing the memory channel you're gonna store a frequency in. And deleting a memory channel. WT, that's just LED, so that's just choosing the different LED background. We've got orange at the moment on receive. Uh, let's have a look now, WT. What does WT stand for? Just trying to have a look. Oh, I can't see what WT stands for, but um, when transmitting, possibly. Uh, just looking in the manual, can't really see that, but I think when transmitting is my best guess. Menu. Menu. When receiving, 
TX. All mod tone. What's that? All mod tone. See if I can see that in the manual. Uh, all mod tone. I'm looking for it. There it is. Alarm mode. So you can select sight, sound alarm through your radio speaker only. Tone transmits a cycling tone over the air. Code transmits 119, followed by any code over the air. Okay, never use that. Band, yeah, you can select the band VHF, UHF, and probably on this one, um, 220 megs. TDR, A and B, have we done this? ST, we've done that. RPSTE. Uh, let's have a look, see if we can find that. Repeater squelch tail elimination. Requires a repeater using this function for ham use set to off. Okay. Menu. Repeater RL off. Delay the squelch tail of the repeater. That's a, this pon mugs, what's that? Can't even read it. Um, boot power on display. Full display the entire LCD screen. Message displays a two-line power on message. Hmm. Okay. Menu. Uh, Roger off. Is that your <coughs> Roger beep? Tone at the end of transmission. We know that a lot of people don't like that. Reset. So that's, yeah, that's understandable. You can reset the whole radio. Re careful, when you reset these, I think they go Chinese. So, um, uh, squelch, setting the squelch. And then we're back to step. So... Yeah, I hope this helps. I mean, the, I think these are like almost like if your wife, if you're a ham operator and your wife comes home with a, a bowfung, especially a, a new style snazzy one like this, instead of a box of chocolates or some socks, I think you're going to be quite chuffed. So, uh, and then the broadcast radio is so good on these. She trusts you. She says you're one of us. The ones and then she calls when, up. if a ham operator transmits now... Um, if I go on back on to All Star, so you can see All Star's busy. Now, if I put it on, um, let's go up one. If I put a, my um, broadcast radio on now, and someone speaks on All Star, it will cut off the um, broadcast radio, and then you hear the ham. So. I just think it's brilliant. These are excellent radios. You can get all these different antennas for them. And the chargers are pretty much, you know, you can swap them around. You get these battery eliminators. So you can, you know, take the battery off and um, put it into a 12-volt supply. There's your battery. And if you get bored, take the thing apart. Why not? You've got nothing to lose if you're careful. So 7-3, hope this helps. M0FX, be clear. Please subscribe.